Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in this video I'm actually going to cover a topic I have already actually done for a video in the past and this topic was why supercharging two strokes is pointless and counterproductive. ski has changed the snowmobile industry again. Introducing the first ever factory built two stroke turbocharged engine, the Rotax 850 E-Tech Turbo. Now, I should have really called that video why supercharged and crankcase induction two-strokes is pointless and counterproductive. Now, riders have the ultimate deep snow advantage over power-robbing elevation straight from the ski factory. Specifically designed to pair flawlessly with the Rev Gen 4 platform, the 850 E-Tech Turbo offers riders instant throttle response with no turbo lag. Because that was the type of engine I was on about. Now, I did get comments coming back saying, yes, you can supercharge two strokes, um, I've done it, this has done it. And I will admit, there is certain types of two strokes where ex um, superchargers or ex external scavenging techniques are used to generate the um, scavenging pressures. But the reason why this is done is because they don't use the crankcase itself as the um, compressor. So they actually do need an external method of um, scaven of upping the scavenging pressure to actually force the fuel-air mixture into the actual um, cylinder and also to push the exhaust gases out. Now, in a traditional crankcase induction system, um, it uses the crankcase as the compressor and the piston. Incredible power at elevation and does it all at half the additional weight of a Summit 850 E-Tech with an aftermarket kit. With instant response, riders have full use of the 850 E-Tech's 165 horsepower up to 8,000 feet. So basically you'll have a valve on the intake which stops any of the pressurised fuel air mixture going back out the intake. So as the piston goes down, the fuel air mixture starts to pressurise which is normally around about 1.2 to 1.8 bar. Tested and built by Skidoo, every detail of this incredible power plant has been optimized for Rev Gen 4 snowmobiles and their riders. Running on pump gas, the 850 E-Tech Turbo also offers riders simplicity and direct from factory peace of mind. One of the top priorities for Skidoo engineers was maintaining the instant throttle response of the 850 E-Tech. To do that, the package starts with a short intake track with unique bypass that feeds air directly to the engine. So power is being built before more pressurized intake flow from the turbo arrives. The electronically controlled wastegate allows the perfect amount of air into the turbine, generating the exact amount of boost needed. As the terrain rises in altitude and more air is directed into the self-lubricating turbine, the amount of boost generated increases up to 4 pounds. This ensures 165 horses up to 8,000 feet and maintains a 40 horsepower advantage upward from there. The pressurized air is actually going into the um, cylinder. That pressurized air is just going to go straight out the exhaust ports. It's physics. Now, I hope I've kind of cleared some things up here with um, the other video and that's basically a more in-depth look with books and references. I shall put both these books in the description if you want to look at them. Very good books if you're into automotive and stuff. I will back them up. But I shall leave it at that. Um, comment in the bottom. I always like your comments to see what your feelings and thoughts are on the subject. Um, as always, keep safe and I shall see you soon. The latest engine innovation in snowmobiling promises ultra-responsive, high-horsepower reliability that only ski -Doo could deliver. Consider the game officially changed. Just saying. Just saying.